a button compass. Junk. What's up guys, Dan here, Coal Cracker, Bushcraft, so the button compass, is it junk? Or I'm just trying to get you to like, trying to reel you in. So first off, I do believe that the button compass definitely has its place in the wood goers arsenal. I think that a button compass can be a very useful tool if you number one, understand how to use it, and then number two, have a good one. But I also do believe that the button compass can be junk, and we get that because there are very junk junky ones made. So let's get rid of number two, the junkiness of the button compass. So I can remember way back from being just a little um, Rambo lover out in the woods with my knife, I take off the cap and there's a compass inside and probably within six month period, there's no liquid left in the compass and there was other small ones I got in survival kits or I bought at Army Navy surplus stores that after a short time, there's no liquid inside and I'm like, does this work? And I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing with it. So I think there's just such an influx of those because it seems like the cool outdoor thing to have. I've seen them on zippers, I've seen them on backpacks, all over the place. Go to REI and there's a ton of products with little compasses built into them, um, most likely junk. But if you're an avid outdoor goer and you're gonna carry a compass along, you don't wanna carry a big base plate compass or you're not gonna be really reading maps or you don't want the folding type that I'm always talking about with the mirror to be able to actually shoot very precise bearings, then a button compass might just be for you. So first of all, you need to get a good high quality button compass when you're gonna buy one. This one here, it's called a True Nord compass. Um, I bought this probably nine years ago. The thing still works super precisely. I know that Sunto makes them, I'm, so, I'm sure Silva makes them. All like the main um, compass manufacturers probably make a small button style compass. So I think if you stick to any of those, you're going to be good. What's really nice about these smaller compasses is the fact that you can just stow them away and totally forget about them until you would really need to pull them out and use them. And then that becomes the second problem. Most people, they, they're just unsure what to do. And I'm here to tell you that I don't know if I know what to do either. Ah, just kidding. So I have my own little process when it comes to a button compass. Um, it's very simple, it's very easy, so quick video on this. Um, first of all, whenever I bring out my button compass, I always make sure I give it a few little turns. Now, being a more high-end type button compass that I'm holding here, I generally never have any sticking issues, but I just, I feel better if I do this and twist it a little bit and I get all the juices flowing, especially if it was laying in a specific position for a long amount of time. And I know, I know I probably shouldn't have to do that, but I do it anyway. So that's my first thing. The next thing with the button compass that I am focused on is just north. I am just worried where north is. And here's why I say that. If I can orientate myself facing north, which in this case is gonna be nice because guess what? The camera is north of me almost. So I know if I face this way, I'm facing north. Now I know that a circle is 360 degrees. So I know if you tell me right now to travel at a 45 degree bearing or I need to travel back at a 45 degree bearing, I can simply take my body and I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven till I get to about 45. And I bet if I hold my compass up at this point in front of me and I just peek down at it a little bit, I am going to be really close to that and I am. So I know this general area is a 45 degree bearing. I would know out this way is 90. I would know behind me this way is 180. Really simple. So if we know that and we know the general direction we headed in, we always have the general direction out and we don't have to guess or we don't have to look at the sun or estimate northerly. I can get north real quick, real easy. And I think that's where a button compass shines is to just get that north bearing. And then from there, you have to have a little bit of skill set to go a little bit further. Now with all of that said, I wanna go over in and out navigation, which I know I've done in other videos, but this is really where a small button compass
compass like this comes into play. Um, if I know I'm traveling, we'll use this direction again, this general direction, okay? Um, you really wanna, when you start out before you go anywhere, you're gonna bring out your button compass and you're gonna hold it just for a second and then you're gonna look whatever number is directly in front of you. So in my case, that is like 40, 40 where I'm looking at right now. And then I'm just gonna not worry about it. I just gotta remember the number 40. So I go travel around for a while into my location, my camp or my hunting spot, and then I wanna get out. So now I'm gonna use the reverse azimuth of that. Now knowing that a circle contains 360 degrees and half of that is 180, any time that I'm gonna reverse myself out of a situation, I'm going to go 180 degrees difference. Okay, of course, we if we're at 350, I can't add 180, it would start over at 360. Um, so now I'm in my hunting location, be it my camp, be it my fishing spot, be it my hunting spot, whatever it may be for the day, and then I realize I might be somewhat misplaced. So we have to go the opposite, which is 180 degrees difference. So if I do 180 degrees difference from that, according to my compass, which is a circle, okay, I'm gonna come out at 220 degrees. So I very easily, I just take my button compass in front of me and I spin until 220 is in front of me, which in my case, my back would be almost facing the camera and I am right about here and I can head out. Now it is not gonna be precise navigation but it is better than no navigation whatsoever. Okay, so we understand that we're going in the general direction in, general direction out. It's gonna get us generally back to where we came from if we feel lost, which is an absolute great tool, great feeling to have something that you can rely on that is literally the size of your thumbnail. Just, it's, uh, it's great. So that's my talk today on button compasses. I wanted to go over this for a while and I was like, all right, well, this is how I use it. So that's what I'm gonna share with everybody. And if you like this, you can hit the subscribe and like button below. You can also go and check us out over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our classes and our merchandise and our blog and all that good stuff. And then until next video, don't get lost, stay in the woods. Well, stay in, stay in the woods, but know where you're at. And then you won't be lost while you're staying in the woods.